Good day, good people. Thank you for joining me for another video here on the SVG2 YouTube channel. I am Bader Dion, owner and lead educator here at SVG2. This is going to be a short learn one thing lesson about shaving off a few seconds, probably more than a few seconds, of your design time by not ungrouping in Cricut Design Space. So I am going to open Cricut Design Space and I am going to click on Canvas. And from here, I'm going to click on Images and I am going to choose browse all images and I will go to layers because I want to find something with multiple layers and of course I'm looking for something free so let's go with this tropical flower letter W I am going to click it and add it to my canvas and if you look over here on the right hand side under layers you will see that there are several different layers to this image now i want to change the color of basically all of this but i don't need to first ungroup this in order to do that if i just click on the layer that i want to change it will become active and then i will be able to go up and change the colors to whatever i want so let's say i want this w to be black and i want this leaf to be let's say red and then i want this leaf to be green and I'm not sure where this one is so I'm going to turn the visibility off on it so I can see what goes away and it looks like the gold goes away so I'll make it blue and then on this one I'll do the same thing I'll turn the visibility off and see what goes away looks like it's that leaf behind that is in what color is that? Is that a rose color? So I'll change that to gold. Now that I have this the way I want it, I can save my project, attach it, and make it. But what I do not have to do is first ungroup and then make all my changes and then regroup. I can even move things. So if I wanted to move this to the other side, and I wanted to move this to the other side, I could do that. I could also move them at the same time. So I'll just undo and put them back and I'll click on one and hold down shift and click on the other and then I'll move them together. Let's say I'll put it right here. But again, what I don't have to do is I don't have to ungroup. You can work with things that you put in a group without actually ungrouping them. You can even make copies of things. So if I wanted to isolate that leaf, those leaves here, but I wanted to put them back because this looks kind of weird now, I'll highlight or select these two and choose copy. And then I will just bring them back down and put them back in place. So if you didn't know that you could do this, then you learned something. If you did know, then it's just a refresher. I didn't know you could do this. I just tried it one day and to see what would happen if I just clicked on one layer without ungrouping and it worked. And I was like, oh, I wonder if there's anybody else who would be interested in knowing this. And that's why I made this video. If you have questions, leave me a comment. If you have comments, leave me a comment. If you need help, leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching.